Hello gamers and welcome to the fourth dose of weekly news. Big one this week due to PAX East being on. First news this week is that Outlast 2 is releasing on April 25th with a disc version titled Outlast Trinity, including Outlast 1 and 2 with the Whistleblower DLC. Secondly this week, the Nintendo Switch is doing really well. It's broken first two-day Nintendo sales in America. It's the third best launch of a console in Japan, only behind PS4 and Wii, and it sold 80,000 in the UK behind Xbox One, PS4 and Wii. So it's doing really well worldwide. But I just wish Nintendo would release their games on PS4 and Xbox One. In patch news this week, No Man's Sky is getting a massive Pathfinder update which brings planet exploration vehicles, a permadeath mode, photo mode and PS4 Pro support. This update could be the resurgence No Man's Sky needs as it has lots of fans talking about it again. The second update is for Gears of War 4, titled The March Update. It brings two new maps, ranked lobbies and other gameplay improvements. In Activision news this week, a Modern Warfare Remastered map pack has been announced. The Variety map pack includes the same four maps the original pack brought to us, including Broadcast, Chinatown, Creek and Kill House. It's out on March 21st, however there's been a massive backlash as fans are annoyed that this costs more than the original map pack cost. Bungie confirmed some Destiny 2 news this week, including that character customization will carry over to Destiny 2, however the power and skill level of the character won't. Also, Bungie planned to support Destiny 1 even after the launch of Destiny 2 in fall this year, but I don't quite believe them. The BAFTA Games Awards 2017 nominees have been announced and Uncharted 4 is up for 8 awards. Indie Game Inside has 7 nominations, as well as Firewatch having 6, and Overwatch has 5 nominations. Battalion 1944, the kick-started shooter set in World War II, will now be published through Square Enix, meaning the game has a big backing and is more likely to do well. To be honest, it looks really good, and it reached its Kickstarter in three days last year. Telltale Games have given us the first look at Guardians of the Galaxy, as you can see on screen. Telltale also announced the release of Walking Dead Season 3, Episode 3, which will be released on March 28th, and it's called Above the Law. Polyphony Digital have announced a closed beta for Gran Turismo Sport at last. It starts on March 17th for US PlayStation IDs, then it will be open to European players sometime after. I'll leave the sign up link below, I personally cannot wait to try it. It's the 25th anniversary of Reservoir Dogs this year, and a game has been created for PC and Xbox One called Bloody Days, and it is due for release this year. It kind of looks like a Hotline Miami ripoff to me though. And the final news of the week is that rock band developers Harmonix have announced a game called Drop Mix. It looks like DJ Hero mashed up with the trading card game. I don't think this would take off, but it's quite a cool idea. And that's it for Gaming News Week 4. Don't forget to head over to fatalgrips.com and use code GGA for 10% off your order.